Hi everyone and welcome. On this video we're setting up work hours, work hour templates, project templates, invoice frequencies, as well as additional parameters in version 3 of PSA. For work hours, we can set them on either under the unified client interface or by using the classic web client. For this example, we'll use the UCI. All right, so get to so to get to work hours, we'll click on our navigation. We will select a resource. Open a resource record up and then click on show work hours. We'll get a pop-up window. Let's maximize this. And then click on set up new weekly schedule and then let's set up our work hours let's say we want to work from from 8 to 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday. For business closures, for the sake of example, let's say we observe all business closures and then we click on save and close. And for the date range, we'll start this from the 23rd of August. All right, so the work hours are all set up. So let's close this pop-up. The next thing we'll do is we'll set up work hour templates. To do that, we will click on our navigation. Scroll down to work hour templates. And then we'll create a new template. We'll call this standard work hours. And as a template resource, we'll choose myself as we just set up work hours for me. We'll click on save and we have a work hour template all set up. Version three of PSA has brought some changes to how work hour templates operate. I have a blog post on that so I suggest you check that out. There are some nice small improvements to the work hour templates in version 3 so it's worth checking my blog post out. The next setting we'll cover is project templates. So on our navigation we'll scroll down to planning and delivery and project templates. We'll click on new template. We'll give it a name. As a calendar template, we'll use the work hour work hour template we just created. We'll click on save. Let's click on schedule and add some tasks. So in version 3 of PSA what used to be called the work breakdown structure is now called a schedule. And as you can see task management is a lot faster on the UCI as it was on the classic web client. So when I add new tasks on my project, they are fairly swiftly saved to the system. All right, so that was 15 tasks. Building your schedule or your work breakdown structure is 
always dependent on your business and your requirements. So the fa for so for the sake of example, I'm not diving too deep into this right now. What you want to understand is when you're making a a project template and choosing that for your new project, you're getting that as a frame so you don't have to set up a new schedule or a work slash a work breakdown structure again for every single project. If you do have a, a fairly standard way of of running your projects. All right, so the next thing we'll look at is invoice frequencies. So let's click on our navigation. And under settings, we have invoice frequencies. Let's click on new. Let's name this first of month. Period is monthly. We'll choose day of period. Click on our details and set this to the first. So now we have an invoice frequency set up for the first of the month. The last setting we'll touch is additional parameters. So under our navigation, we will navigate to settings and parameters. Now under parameters, we can adjust things such as the, the default work hour template, the resource allocation method, the default invoice frequency, default project manager role, and default team member role, as well as the default organizational unit. So for the invoice frequency, we'll add the one we just created. And for our default work hour template, we'll choose the standard work hours template we just created. We'll save the changes. And on the video covering price lists, we already set up price lists for, for cost and sales under parameters. We do have some options for amount-based pricing dimensions, as well as markup-based pr uh, pricing dimensions. These are new features in version three of PSA. For the sake of brevity, we're not covering these right now. I will make some additional videos later that explain these in more detail. All right, so I hope this explains how these basic settings are set up. I hope you enjoyed the video and have a good one.